right after World War II, U.S. government decided that they overbought so much material that they have to get rid of it. They set prices on like GI boot or airplanes, this $250,000 airplane you could buy for $5,000 and you're an extra GI. We'll give it the open account for 30 days. They only wanted veterans, but you could yep. get open account and billing, yeah. Went up to Stockton Naval Base, and we walked in and looked over in the corner, and here's a whole corner full of 30 caliber machine gun belts, just stacked up in the corner. So I said to the guy, what are you gonna do with that? He says, nobody's even looked at it. Who would want that kind of a thing? So I said, I think I got a guy. Would you sell it by the ton? And he said, I'll take whatever offer. We tried to put it up on seal bid. We never got a bid. We bought them. At any rate, how do, what do you do with them? And another man said, I know what to do with them. There's an independent canner out in Orange County. He's Gentile, but his partner's Jewish. And I'm sure that I can work out something with it. So I went out there with him with a whole box full of these belts. And he took the number 10 restaurant size cans and we saw how many belts we could cover in there. And his art department make up a ketchup label to put on the outside of the can. And cartons that said ketchup on the outside. And he packaged all those for nothing. After the plant closed down, he came in, the two partners came in with a couple of machine operators and they did everything. Loaded it into a semi-truck that should have carried X number of thousands of pounds. This weighed almost double that. But they had to disguise it like ketchup. And I rode in the semi-truck with the driver and assistant driver knowing that we would only stop for gasoline and maybe food. We went from there out Route 66. We probably passed 20 states, 25 states from LA to Brooklyn. On the road, there's a, a little turnoff that says all trucks over X number of tons have to pull in here and get weighed to make sure that you're not overweight. We had a four-door passenger car in front of us that we didn't know anything about at all. But every time we came to a weight station, the four-door passenger car would go through the weight station first and the lights would go out to the weight station. And then we'd just go on without going over scale or anybody marking the license plate numbers on the truck. We passed probably 50 weight stations that turned their lights off, didn't even want to see us. We went into Brooklyn Harbor, the semi-truck drove straight down right to the dock, backed up, and they handled these cartons that weighed double what they were marked, about 60 pounds I'd say. They were marked 32 pounds or whatever, and they had three stevedores picking up these cartons and throwing them up a conveyor belt onto the, onto the ship, just like they weighed 30 pounds. I'm sure there's a dozen stories just like that, maybe more.